What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit and we are staring at that Bushido style drift Corvette here on a set of Corsa. The time has come for round three of the Bushido style series. We are going to be at Rockingham. They released the track the other day. So we're going to be testing the Corvette out because that is the car I did register myself for. I'm going to silence my cell phone there for a second. That is the car I registered myself for like I ran in round one. Um, I was thinking about switching cars but I decided to stay with a car that I ran around one because I was getting more comfortable with it. So now the question lies, am I going to be running the Oculus? Am I going to be running without the Oculus? That is unsure yet. So today we're going to be testing it in third person view and hood view and stuff like that here at Rockingham trying to get dialed back in the car. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are in the description box below. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not a subscriber. do appreciate the support. And you know, tap that bell notification, be part of the notification gang. Bushido style, round three at Rockingham is this weekend. Super excited for it. Can't wait. Gonna try and get, the goal is to just actually just qualify for the top 32. For round one, I biffed it, spun out, and went off course. So round three, since I missed round two, goal is to try and just qualify. If I could qualify and win a tandem battle, it'd be even better, but just qualify for the 32. So we're going to be testing the Corvette here today. Going to be throwing some shakedowns in it and having some fun back in competition cars. So we do have a base tune on the car right now. And we're just going to run it a little bit of a third person mode right now. Going to heat up the tires a little bit. I feel like that's a little loud. We're going to shut that down. So Rockingham is actually a fun course. I've had a lot of fun on Rockingham before with a bunch of my friends, so I'm definitely very comfortable in the Rockingham course, but this uh, Bushido style cars are definitely a lot grippier than the cars I was running, so we're going to just see if we can't do this. Throw ourselves in. Oh, very wavery. So this is the first run out in the Corvette on a basic tune here at Rockingham. So we are going to definitely get better and better as the runs progress. Oh, yep, okay, so I saw, so I definitely see what I need to do and what I need to uh, practice. I need to practice on throttle control and I need to be not as just uh-uh, uh-uh. I need to be a little more linear. Um, I'm used to lower power cars at the moment that I can just be like matted and you know, use my brake and stuff like that, so I'm gonna definitely have to get back to being linear on the throttle. Luckily, I have a week to do it. So, if you guys are competing in Bushido style, what car did you guys choose? Because I know a bunch of people chose the uh, E46 for last round, and I'm not sure if many people chose the Corvette for this round, but you know, I like to stay trying to choose what I start with. There we go, a little bit more linear throttle, kind of puts me where I need to be. We can break grab there. I thought I was going to biff the wall, so I kind of faded out of that one a little bit. A clutch kick. That is going to be a very tricky section and going to be a very bogged out section because I can see a lot of people slowing down a lot. Hopefully it's a decel zone. They have not seen the full track map yet. So this is just the way I see everybody running it and the way I've always run it. So hopefully this is the right way to run it. So if you guys are in the Machida styles and I'm running it wrong, where the layout let me know down in the comments please i'd very much appreciate it or hit me up on discord there we go. i gotta stop wavering my front wheel so much i can get a little bit smoother on steering with this corvette because i know they look for that way too deep way too much angle causing me to get a little out of whack to this section a little bit of a decel, a little bit of a clutch kick, not fully in that zone, but we did clip that zone. We were taking those cones out and finishing off the run. So the course is very fun. It's definitely a very good tandem course. It's definitely going to be very interesting, to say the least. So we're going to switch it up to my other view, which is on the roof, which, you know, rip to everybody that said another one lost to the roof view. Don't know if I'm actually be running this. Don't know if I'm going to be running Oculus. going to be testing the Oculus later. But today is just the first testing day of the track for round three. This one seems a lot smoother. 
run seems a lot better. I definitely have to take the replay of this one because oh, I know I'm over the line there, but the rest of the track's been pretty good. A little clutch kick stalled out there. Oh, and a little bit of a wall tap. So let's take a look at that last run. And we'll actually take a look and digest it from a different perspective. Is that it? No, that was it. Alright, so this is going to be the last run that we just did. So let's take a minute to kind of digest what it looked like in the outside view, kind of where we were on the track, because I couldn't really see. Initiation seemed good, kind of right on that line. We did get into that zone, which was good. We were out to that zone, almost into the wall, but we didn't go into the wall. Pretty much on that white line, pretty deep into that zone as well. Really deep in there, we did go over the white line, we were taking those cones out. That was where I angle stalled it out. We did miss that zone a lot. We did fill that zone, but I, we didn't take the cone out, but we would have clipped the wall there. So, not a bad run in this view. I feel like maybe I was better. Oh, whoop, wrong button. Maybe I was better in that view than I was the other view. Now, a lot of people do run roof view for tandem aspects because you can see. We got to load my testing one. Because you can see, you know kind of door and the way I have this set up kind of has a pivot it doesn't have real head motion turned on it just has basically the, uh, the pivot camera set up from the content manager and the shader pack so we're going to run another run and then we're going to try and digest this as many runs as we can and take a look from outside and see from a judging standpoint where we be at the shade in Really deep into that zone, maybe over it. Oh, and that's a rip. That is a wall. We do not want to do that in qualifying. We only have two runs, we definitely don't want to do that. So, at least there's a lot of room back here for people to park up and you know get burnouts and stuff done. So we're gonna give this another go. We need to get a clean run so we can take a look from the outside view. This run is pretty much done, but we're going to try and finish it out. Not when we do that, we're not. Oh, man. Those, uh, those walls will get you. If you just so much as touch them here, you're done. So we got we to gotta slow ourselves down. We got to get ourselves close to the wall, but not in the wall. In the wall is bad. on the clutch there, but and I feel like I went very shallow there and we over angled. Man, this is going to be rough. I'm going to definitely have to do a lot of practice in this car and maybe change some settings. I'm going to get online with some of the team and some of the other guys that I know are competing and try and get a setup dialed for this car because it's close. The setup is very close. Not perfect. There we go. Right there, I hesitate because I'm too worried I'm going to go into the wall and now I'm just wavering a lot. So I realize handbrake there, no brake. We're way off there. Kind of fogged out there. So we will take a look at that run. Not the bestest of runs at all but a full run nonetheless. So let's take a look at this run and see where we're at here. Initiation's good. That, not so good. We would have punted all three of those cones out. We were okay there. We were really deep though. We were probably too deep. We would have went over the white line and I'm not sure how the judges are gonna judge that. We were shallow off there. We were deep there and kind of in zone. We weren't out of the zone. We did miss that by a lot. And then we did miss that one too. We kind of clipped the end of that one. So I think we're going to try and get one more solid run here for this episode here today. 
and then we are going to be testing the Oculus Rift on another episode for more Bushido style testing for round three of Rockingham. All right, one final run. Let's make this. Uh, let's pretend this is our final qualifying run, and we're sitting on a zero. Let's see where we'll go. that would have been a zero run that probably would have been points on the board so let's take a look at it and see what it looked like we need to go back to the beginning all right final run like we were sitting on a zero initiation was great right in the zone kind of on a little bit over the white line we were taking those cl clips out nice and deep there Nice fluey transition there. Little hiccup there, so we kind of missed that zone. But we did get into that zone, kind of on the white line. We did draw a nice little line there. We were off. I didn't realize we were that far off. Was this our final run? I don't think that was our final run. That was not our final run. This was our final run. I'm sorry. So we were sitting. This was the final run of the run I really wanted to watch. It was our initiation, nice, drew a nice white line, perfect in that zone, nice on that white line. Great there as well. Transition was pretty good, not much waver in the front wheel, little hiccup there, but nice and deep in that zone. Right and deep in that zone, so this was so far a very solid run. Great on that zone, a little over-rotated there. We're able to keep the car in drift. So that wouldn't have been a zero, wouldn't have been perfect, but the beginning of that run was almost perfect. So we're getting there. The car needs a little bit more tuning, but we will get it dialed before this weekend. Round three of Bushida series. Definitely excited for this one. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which found in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys on the track.